11. 10 nautical miles. Fire, 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 genies. Go on, baby. Go on, baby. 14 second fuse. Rock it away. Turn away, turn away, turn away, turn away. It's two miles, a two mile kill distance. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're all doing very well. Today, we're taking a first look at the 1950s American Air 2 Genie nuclear tipped rocket. The scenario is this, 1965, Brezhnev has decided to drop nuclear bombs from supersonic Soviet bombers on Washington. This is not the east coast of Argentina, it's actually the east coast of America today, 60 or 70 miles inland. Here is Washington. Starting 370 miles to the east are two regiments of 1960s Tu-22 bombers, each with one large nuclear bomb. They are going to fly as fast as they can, Mark 1.44, and drop their bomb over Washington and then try and fly away. Today, we're going to try and stop them. First, let's look at the hostiles. We only have the Tu-22M, the replacement version in-game, but we can make it very similar to an original Tu-22 by limiting its speed. We have limited it to Mark 1.44, the maximum speed of the Mark 1 variant. It's carrying dumb bombs because I can't actually give it nukes, but for all intents and purposes, it's carrying nuclear payload. They will fly at 36,000 feet and fly in a loose formation. And that's that. 290 miles out from the US coast is this detection ring. This is where we detect the bombers as per the range of the period accurate EWR. At that point, we can scramble our fighters. And our fighters are scrambling from the coast here. Today, we have F-104C starfighters. As soon as the bombs are spotted, we must take off, fly as high and fast as we can, get to the bombers and shoot as many or all of them down if possible. We're going to do two runs today with two different loadouts. On the first run, we're going to use just sidewinders. The sidewinder we're using today is the AIM-9B. We have these variants, B, P, P5 and L. Now, P, P5 and L are all 1970s and onwards so b is the only one we would have had in 1965 it's an old pretty terrible rear aspect only missile but at this point you're saying hang on haven't you guys done this before aren't you just repeating it yes we have done this almost exactly the same but i made an error i used missiles from the 1970s which were much better front aspect capable missiles you guys corrected me and so of course we're coming to do this bit again with the period accurate 1960s rear aspect only only missiles. Then we'll come back and do a second test with the Genie rocket. It will be mounted under the fuselage here and we will retain a couple of sidewinders just in case we need to. It is a non-guided rocket with a range of around 20 miles. We'll do some calculations. We'll loft it towards the hostile with the aim of getting it within one mile of the hostile when the warhead explodes. The warhead is a 1.5 kiloton warhead. Today, if all works out, we should have eight starfighters. Good turnout. Guys, let's make some predictions. First, with just AIM-9B sidewinders, can we stop two regiments of Tu-22s at Mark 1.4 plus? I don't think so. We got we have to have a 75% kill with the rock with our missiles. At least. At least. I think it's going to be impossible. To, well, I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. It's going to be no. hard. It's going to be hard. Those old weapons and those are fast bombers, guys. I predict Simba will go 100%. The rest of us, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> what about when we come back with the uh, nuclear rockets? How are we going to do? Oh, nukes for the win. I predict Simba will have a 200% uh, success right then. It's going to be about five minutes, guys, until the bombers are spotted. So we're going to get to the runway in a perfect, ready-to-scramble position. I mean, that's exactly the perfect scenario. I mean, the scramble fighters, they would start from, from hangars, right? British, um, when we were on hot alert in a Cold War, would actually have the aircraft stationed just off the runway. They would always have four on high alert. I don't know if we still do that, but... Right, cat breaks on. Uh, this is a real beast to take off, guys, so we've got to be super careful. Flaps in position one and check, please. Push. Fire. Down yeah, There is a equivalent angle of attack, uh, top right. In fact, I was just about to talk about it. It's just right of your little RWR. Basically, don't put it in the red. If you put it in the red, you will lose control huh. of the plane. How about that? Red, you're dead. And yes, there are two fuel quantity gauges. You are concerned with the left one. What's the one on the right for? 
if we had external tanks. Five seconds. Guys, spool and hold, spool and hold. Three, two, one, go. Are the, uh, the bombers inside the ring, Strider? Just touching it now. Right, here we go, viewers. They've been inside. spotted by the EWR. Let's friggin' do this. Right, 150. Pressure aft stick, 200. Rotate. Come on, lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. Gear, flaps. Ladies and gentlemen, the Starfighter. Don't forget a little bit of trim. When you said a little bit, you mean lots. That famous Starfighter howl. I've seen one of these perform in real life viewers and it was freaking awesome. GCI check vector 071 magnetic. 075. Right, guys. You know what? For the turn in, 071 is actually the. 071. On heading now. Roll out flight. Once I'm above the clouds, guys, I will come off the throttle a bit and let you start catching up. Because we really want to go in as a unit here. Speed is transonic. Mark 1, just under 20,000 feet already. Wow, what a great interceptor this was, guys. Connie. Connie. Supersonic. 34,000 feet. Guys, I think it's time to think about getting supersonic. I'm leveling out. I'm going to give you a couple of percent headroom on the throttle because we really want to go in together. Mark 1.1, heading for Mark 1.2. 36,000, we will go higher. Guys, I just want to get the speed up first. All right, viewers, there's the bomb. Wow, let me think quick. And there we are. Gans, hurry the hell up. Mark 1.3 and climbing. All right, guys, is anyone apart from Gans not ready to go Buster? Buster in three, two, one mark. All right, let's push this bird. Your heading is about five off, but that is intentional for the turning. The only issue is when to begin the turn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it visually. 40,000 feet, mark 1.45. Ooh, baby. She's fat. Look at that burner. J79 engine, of course, the viewers. One of my favorite engines of all time. Distance two hostiles, please, GCI. One, two, three nautical miles. Guys, when we do the turn, I will slow us down beforehand, otherwise we'll rip our wings off. That's mark 1.6, 43,000 feet. You are currently going faster, so you could catch up if need be. But we'll never. Once we've done our turn, it will take it will take a hundred miles to get back up to speed. Oh, look at that, viewers! Nine zero nautical miles. Will I see them off my right or left quarter? Right. They are ten thousand feet below us. That should be enough for a split S. Oh, Mark one point eight five. Oh, nearly at top speed. Got them on radar. Sixty-five miles out. I'm blind on the radar. Fifty nautical miles. 80. 50. Radar contact. Right, viewers, here we go. I'm, just, I'm using my radar. I'm offsetting one mile to your left sure. so that when we make the turn, we're not on top of each other. Watch out. 40 miles. Can anyone actually get a target track? Hey, firm. Yep, target track cap. 35 miles. Here we go. Here we go. Anyone made visual contact yet? If I'm, they're just off your nose, maybe almost yes, one o'clock. A whole bunch right. of contrails. It's now a visual intercept, guys. Distance, please, Strider. At 22 nautical miles. Mark point 2.1, mark 2.1. Preparing to go. Closing fast, 17. Cap, mill power, mill power, mill power. Sim is making a, making a level right. turn. Cap, I'm turning. Now. Yep, turning now. Cap, idle power. Looking for 9G, or whatever I can get in this thing. 
Keep it around four degree A away, just to the right of your RWR. Watch out. Okay, no, no. Like, like Bird said, Red, you're dead. Three is okay. Cans, you got two o'clock. I'm descending in on them. Repeat for Cans. Two o'clock, check. They're, they're going evasive. Shoot. Shoot. Fire I've will. got tone. Fire will. Shoot. 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 Gans Fire begin the right turn. Bird. Gans turning. I'm going for the loose ones at the back. Push Fox too. We're in the goddamn soup. Sons of bitch Russians. Gans keep turning to 236 and look beneath Splash you. one. Shoot. Shoot. Don't beneath. Keep it up, guys. We've got to stop three, these guys. Two more, three more slashes, splashes. At my four, one, five. five. You good? All right, let's chew them up, guys. Five hundred three six. Gans left turn. Come on, you big lug. And ahead of you. Flash. Roll that, please. Send me going to guns. God damn it, stop dodging. Guns hit. Yeah, they've got rear fire firing aircraft. guns. Speed of aircraft 780 average. Guns kill. A6 and Monaco Mouth and Coast. I still have missiles, so I'm not firing because I don't want to shoot you guys. Watch out, just don't let them get away. As in, stay with them. Another gun. The gun's a weird, weird offset. Where's that? 7 6 nautical miles from coast. Get about 200 feet from behind them and put the pipper on just above the engines. Let's try to roughly Pulling how many we got Ammo. to kill. Another Outside. one down. Another one down. I got one breaking off to the right. Two to, uh, breaking off. Okay, you tackle them. I'm staying with the group. Me from hunting rabbits. Yep. I got this one that's right below the cloud. Let's turn him back left. Missed. 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 Dark 214 for nautical miles beneath you. Angel 16. I'm out of everything except Fox 4. Gans, do you have weapons? Use a sucker. Hey, from Missile, Fox, Washington. Uh, Vector Bird. Bird's got missiles. Yep. And you can I've still got shot. two. I just can't get in range. Bird on uh, 3 o'clock at Angel's 2 0. Okay. Three you see it. Breaking from the group. Another splash. Vector to targets. Simba 2087 nautical miles. Angel 20. Bird turn left. Oh shit, got one just to. I'm F231, you're a merge. 208 for 10 nautical miles. 238. I'm just doing my probe in his engine. way out there. Radar. RTC target. I got him, I got him, I got him. ACS failure. Radar failure. ACS failure. Dark about three thousand above you. Dark Winchester waiting on Fox 4. Yeah, I'm finding it like frigging green. Oh, well done.
down, guys. You did so well. My boys, my boys, my boys. Two. They are so good. Splash. Well done, Splash. There's one more left. I got 24. 24. Mark 1.5 nearly. That's amazing, guys. I'm very surprised. We don't even need to use the friggin' genie rockets, but we will, but... Wow. Send me your closing pass. He's going real slow, by the way. Fair play to the Soviets. They, they, they just kept going. They really want Washington atomized, don't they? Oh, wait. He's done. I don't know what to say. It was absolutely flawless, guys. With worse missiles, we did better. We must be getting better pilots. That's perfect split S we did. I'm not going to bother watching through TAC for you. It was just great, great, great. 24 kills. A Mark 1.5 five bombers with old 1950s missiles right stand by for genie rocket welcome back viewers we all now have one single belly mounted genie rocket it has a 1.5 kiloton warhead and it's unguided it's possibly the world's stupidest weapon but the americans were extremely worried about supersonic bombers coming over the north pole and bombing America at the time and they had to find a way of stopping them the regiments would have been in a loose formation so a nuclear warhead probably would have worked. Uh, they were tested against, I don't think they were actually fired at anything, but they were tested. There are pictures of them exploding in the atmosphere. Uh, and as well as that, you guys built loads. You built thousands. I think 3,000 Air 2s were built. None fired in anger, obviously, but you guys were really going to use them. Um, I'm interesting. I'm not sure of any other countries. I'm not sure if the Soviets developed a similar weapon. Viewers, you'll have to fill me in on that. All right, guys, I'm going to go over a debriefing of how we use this. It's unguided. There is no way of aiming it. I think in reality they had a kind of pseudo GCI slash radar system that could tell them when to fire and what angle to fire. We don't even have that. So the way we will fire, viewers, is we will fire head on. 10 miles exactly 10 miles that's what i've set the fuse for it's a time fuse it will explode 14 seconds after we fire so that's why we have to do the 10 miles co-altitude 36,000 feet we do not fire the rocket straight forward because it dips a bit uh, so we fire it 10 degrees up that will loft the rocket if i can get my mouse cursor up over a small parabola and hopefully will land within the bombers they don't have to be perfectly accurate because it has a two mile blast radius so it has to be within two miles of the bombers just one of these warheads and theoretically it will blow all the bombers up try not to go into the blast yourself um the blast is not visible today viewers that the nuclear bombs in game do not have blast no idea why but they don't uh, but it is modeled it's just a big sphere of damage if you like uh, which is good enough but imagine that viewers imagine 1965 brezhnev's pushed a red button the Tupolovs are charging over the Atlantic or over, the, uh, over Canada or whatever and suddenly the QRA starfighters have to get armed up with their genie rockets and do the honourable thing and just atomize the whole atmosphere. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Two, one, mark. All right, beautiful boys, let's do it just as well as we did last time. But with more nuclear... Tension the aft stick. God, it's hard to control. 200 and rotate. And positive rate. Gears flap awfully quickly. Check travel. And let's go, guys. Look at that. Formation takeoff. Twice in a row. No problems. That's my boys. They are getting better. <laughs> Everyone should have their flaps up by now, uh, otherwise they won't work. Gans, were you attempting that vertical takeoff you were telling us about? <laughs> he just wanted to make it a historically accurate video. Oh, I do feel a bit heavier with this nuclear bomb, guys, with this nuclear missile. Yeah. Bomb formation 070 for intercept. Roger. Head on. Oh, yeah, it's a head on intercept this time, isn't it? We offset it last time, viewers, but now it's head on. It's 25,000 feet, airspeed's coming down, and. Uh, Leveling out. Um, we're aiming for 36,000 feet. Must save America. Must save America. Supersonic. Right, let's get some reporting going. Uh, GCI, distance to targets, please. 175 nautical miles. 
apologies, I read the wrong heading. It is, you will need to turn 077. 077 magnetic, roger. Right roll, gentlemen. On heading, wings level. Viewers, tell me this, riddle me this, is there much more sexier than life than a anti-nuclear, nuclear parade formation in 104 Starfighters in 1965? I don't think there's anything sexier. And Mark 1.2. And Mark 1.2. You may think I'm wrong, viewers. Currently 121 nautical miles. I'm going, uh, right guys, it's time to go buster in 3, 2, 1, Mark. Correct, it's currently These aircraft had pretty prehistoric radars, uh, viewers, without a great deal of range, so they would have relied on GCI to send them towards the target. 90 nautical miles. Oof. Viewers, uh, I guess I didn't say earlier, uh, we're using timed fuses, not proximity fuses, but they're just not accurate enough for proximity fuses. So we're doing a 14 second fuse on the Genie rockets. And it's probably periodic you know, time consistent, our ground station radar operator, aka the GCI, is reading popular mechanics ins instead of mm -hmm. being laser focused on that radar. Mm -hmm. Right. We're all about realism. Hey, he needs to, <laughs> he needs to go uh, look at what he's working with. He's reading about apparently how we're going to land on the moon. <laughs> Nine years time, guys. No, four years time. Five one nautical miles. Simba, have you got my radar? Hey, firm. You are now the distance ometer. It's at the bottom right of the radar. Keep us informed every five seconds. Yes, visual, visual, visual. All right, we're good, guys. I got him at 40. Yeah, that's him. All right, viewers. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Never done before. A nuclear friggin' rockets. Who's stupid enough? Three five nautical miles. Correcting right, guys. Run off track a bit. Two nine nautical miles. Head on. Simba, your distance is correlating with GCI. 25. Hmm. Jesus Christ, I've just died. God damn it, you sons of bitches. Live with them. Live with them. I hate AI. We'll be okay, we'll be okay. Someone sit them off. Stick with the distances, they've seen us here. 14. 10 up. Yeah, we'll be 10 up. 11. 11. 10 nautical miles. Fire, 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 genies! Go on, baby. Go on, baby. 14 second fuse. Rock it away. Turn away, turn away, turn away, turn away. It's two miles, a two mile kill distance. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! It friggin' works! Two left. Two left, two left, two left. Two left. Okay, let's go. Uh, G sub. G vector is in, I wasn't expecting that. Turn to 256. Fire your closest turn left, 256. Dark turn right. Cannonball do a 180. Simba 218, 12 nautical miles. Push the same. Cap 290, 10 nautical miles. I'm still in front of him here. And Judy, I got, a, I got a visual on him. About to do some Fox 2s on them. Do that S. Fire your merge. 20. Angels 20. Just to see him. Missile miss, missile miss. Fox 2. Alright, oh, do you have a second missile? That's a shit. That's yep. I got a second one. Moving in to kill the other one. Go for it, yeah. I'm, I see you. Shoot. Shoot. Fox oh. 2. That is the last arm. Yes! Splash. Oh, guys. We are so friggin' sexy right now. Not only could we do it with our genies, but first, uh, sorry, not only could we do it with our side ones, but first time using the genies, it just friggin' worked. Uh, and did anyone get blown up by the genies? Because the last model is modeled. Sims wow. arrived. Amazing, guys. Right, well, I'm so happy about Everyone's that. Right. I'm gonna let us go and try and land. Got the fuel to get back. 257, 81 out of class. Let's go. 1.5 in the tank, I think I got it. Do you guys burn your way home, or do you casually fly? I'm burning up to altitude, uh, and then I'll mill power. Yep. I'm burning until it says I don't, I don't have any more to burn. 
Burn or go, uh, go home. You only got go mode. Right, got 45,000 feet and doing a thing. Ladies and gentlemen, today, if nothing else, we showed how brilliant this plane was. And of course, it had the service history and legacy to back that up. Used by loads of countries, God knows how many built. Someone could probably Google it, but probably, probably thousands. Well, they can't keep on building them because the Germans are kept on crashing. Awkward and topical. Hey, we were inventing stuff, all right? And so you know the Spanish Air Force had them, right? Yep, I know, because we're doing stuff in Spain tomorrow, and they had them. They had the, I think they actually had the German version. I may have misread Yeah, it. and they didn't crash. They didn't crash any of them. It's weird, isn't it, guys? Starfighter did go above 100,000 feet. Was that the rocket? Was that Chuck Yeager? Well, it must have been, mustn't it? I think we did a video on it. Yep, we did, and that's where they discovered the wings just don't work up there, and you got yourself in a spin. I survived, and I think he even ejected. All right, 30 miles going down. Look at you, you're really doing it, bud. I've oh, got flares. We do have flares. What if the real one had flares? And that's Mark II. Seem to be hitting some kind of buffeting, viewers. Correct, oh. real illegals. I'm assuming straight in. Uh, I, to be honest, it's a bit of a widow maker, so do whatever works, Simba. But it's going to be the first one, but I'm second. 500 pounds of fuel. Off the power. 300 pounds of fuel. Viewers, why do we do such stupid things? Tower is unattended. I'm going to catch you up, bird. I'm going to do it. I'm going to catch you up. Coming in over city. Better not kill any civilians. Let's have an air break. Yes. Hey, firm. Roger. They come out the sides. Yes, they do. Look at that. What happens if you're out of fuel landing? Um, good luck. Dead, good luck landing dark. is a dead landing. I heard its glide ratio is really good. Does anyone know if it's got blown flaps or not? No thrust, no trust. No, no blown flaps. Ooh, I can make sure I'm not the last one to down if I just pull this weapons release. Um, I've got tone. Progress bird. Short final. I see you. Alright, here we go. Is your ejection seat upside down or right side up? I don't know, but I'm not going to try it. A uh, bird, your wheel is facing right, just so you know. Ooh, oh, well, that, I'm, I'm going straight right now, that's good. This is a good flight model, I like it, well done. Whoopsie! I did a loop de loop. You crap. <laughs> Simba, wheels down. I survived the water landing. Huh. Fire wheels down. My right, bird made it down. Simba made it down without the freaking parachute, hero. Oh, I made it down. You a parachute, yeah. With the parachute. Push, you can go uh, second stage flaps. Looks like last one's about to touch wheels down. So you you push push hey, hey, down. hey, almost there. You're the last cannibal, oh, you get nope, to do I the do. I do still see one way off in the distance. Last one down has to clean my baby's nappy. Cannibal just I'm an expert but nappy changer. Huh. But he still has her shoot attached. Welcome back, Lost Man. All right, guys, there's one more thing to do, which is to test if the ejection seat really goes down. On three, two, one. No, it goes up. Huh. Or it went down, but we bounced off the ground very hard. Guys, great mission. I hope you enjoyed that. And here comes Simba. Huh. Yeah.